Last time on Total Drama The Top 100, every team had a chance to show off their talent or lack thereof. It seemed like a clear as day loss for the Silent Crickets or the Ravenous Spiders, but because of Elodie rigging Max's machine to blow up on himself instead of shooting fireworks into the sky, it was unfortunately Max who got his team disqualified and had to say goodbye to the Top 100. The episode begins with Jasmine waking up and hopping out of her tree, and Jay asks what she's doing. Jasmine asks what he's doing up so early, and Jay replies by saying that ever since he was a child, he wakes up at this time since it was a time he was supposed to take his medication. So, he hasn't been able to sleep in since then. Jasmine asks if he wants to keep her company, Jay accepts and follows her. In confessional, Jasmine says that she finds Jay a little pathetic, but she felt the same about Sammy, so maybe this little runt can be made into something more useful. At least more useful than Sam, at least. While they're picking berries, Jasmine sees Sean and Dee together picking berries. Jasmine walks over and starts a conversation with Sean, asking how he's been and for any information on his team. Sean says that they should work by themselves for now, so that they aren't seen as targets. Jay introduces himself to B, and B doesn't really say anything but acknowledges it. Sean introduces B for him, saying that this is B. He hasn't really done much yet, but he's sure to do something soon. Alejandro is spying on them from the forest, and in confessional says that Jasmine needs to go as soon as possible. There's no way he can have someone who has connections to another team besides himself. Chris has everyone report to the front of their cabins, where they are told that today's challenge is a camping challenge. Every team must go into the forest and set up camp for the night. The last team back to camp by morning will go to elimination. Katie and Sadie are in a confessional together, and they say that last time they lost, but this time they are going to make sure they are together this whole time. Katie goes to Sadie's team, and before anyone can say anything, Sierra tells them that this is a good plan. If Katie is here, then they have a guarantee to at least not be last. On the Flaming Cockroaches, they all manage to make it to camp, and Bowie asks Bridget if she wants to lend a hand pitching the tent. Bridget refuses, which makes Bowie a bit mad. In confessional, Bridget says that she doesn't want to not help. She just remembers what happened last time and can't risk it happening again. Harold tells Bridget that it's statistically unlikely for lightning to strike twice, so it's pretty much impossible for the same thing to happen again. This cheers Bridget up enough to help Bowie out. Bowie in confessional says that Bridget comes with way too much baggage for him, especially since Bridget has cheated on her boyfriend before. He wants Bridget gone as soon as possible. Jose asks Bowie for help, and Bowie agrees, going over to her where Jose tells him that she wants to form an alliance. Bowie says fine to that, but he gets to pick the first one out, and Jose says that she thinks she has the same target in mind. Mike says that he'll go hunting for food, and Lori says that she will help until Sanders asks if she's vegan, and Lori quickly says that she is and sits back down. Lori in confessional says that she hasn't exactly been holding up that well in her vegan ways ever since she ate that feast in Iceland. Ripper also says that he will help since he's a wonderful fisherman. On the Amber Scorpions, Damien is watching in awe, as Ella is able to use the woodland creatures to help her build the campfire, and Damien asks if this is for real or if he's just dreaming. Dwayne says that wildlife are some of the friendliest things around. Damien nods his head to that before bending down to pet a rabbit before getting bit by it, which Ennui takes notice of and says that the rabbit has a black hole in his soul before picking it up and the rabbit seems happy to be in his presence. Ella walks over and says that the rabbit feels a kinship with him and that he's great at taming animals as well. Dawn chimes in as well, saying that despite Anwei putting up such a chilling appearance, he really has a calm, tranquil aura. Mary is out getting firewood when her hand touches with Rodney's, and she blushes as well as Rodney, and they both stammer, telling each other to pick up the wood first. Rodney in confessional says that he's really never felt this way before. This girl, she is like a hundred Stephanies in one. Mary in confessional says that her dopamine receptors flared when she saw Rodney. She definitely has a crush on him, but she has to focus on the competition first. Mary Mary says that she will see Rodney around, and Rodney just responds with a simple yeah. Mary goes to camp breathing heavier than normal, and Amy asks what's wrong with her until Dawn says that she has a much different aura. She's either frightened or feeling intense feelings of love. Mary rejects the idea and says that she was just outside for a bit longer than she's used to before placing the wood down. Sierra smiles and goes to her and says that she knew love would blossom here. This place is magical. It allowed her to be united with her Cody bear, after all. Cody makes an embarrassed laugh at Sierra's statement. 
This gaming flies really have no difficulty with the tent and setting up camp considering that the team's punching bag is now gone. Mediocre mealworms have Lightning choosing to be the team leader, and Beth tries to say that she's the team leader, but Lightning retorts it by saying only finalists should be leaders. To which she says that she is one, which makes Lightning tell her to stop lying. Axel grabs Mickey's hands and helps him start a fire. And Emma comes over and says how cool it is that she's doing that for him, which Axel says that it's nothing, everyone should know how to survive. Ravenous spiders have Sky going over to Scott, and he asks if he can please take a challenge seriously for once, and Scott actually agrees to this proposal, since he's going to be spending most of his time trying to find it an idol regardless. Lashana is relieved when she hears the news. Junior goes over to Scott and asks if he can go with Scott, and he says that this is a one-man job, but Junior says that if anything happens to him, like a shark bites him or something, he can go get help. This actually makes Scott agree, since he doesn't know where Fang could be lurking, if at all. On the excited ants, Emma is trying to start a fire when Leonard says to watch as he casts a fireball spell, and he waves his wand and casts a spell, and at that moment, Emma finally gets the fire started. Z says that it's so cool to have a wizard on their team for things like this, and Ezekiel agrees. Emma tries to take credit for the fireball, but MK smiles and tells her to stop trying to take Leonard's achievements for herself, and Z agrees, saying how that's not very nice of her to do. This makes Emma angry and she storms off. Gwen goes to comfort Emma, and Gwen tells her that she personally hates Leonard as well. They should get into an alliance, and Emma agrees to this. On the drowning mosquitoes, everything goes well. Nothing new to report at all. Tenacious earwigs are in a similar situation. Hopping stink bugs have Rodney coming back, looking a bit different, and Brick asks if he's okay and if he has any bites or injuries anywhere. Rodney says that the only injury he has is one through his heart, and Brick tells him to lay down, he will perform CPR on him. Justin tells Brick that he probably is just referring to the fact he loves someone else. Stephanie makes a relieved sigh, and Rodney apologizes to Stephanie, saying that he did love her, but this new girl is so much better. Stephanie doesn't take this kindly, and punches Rodney in the gut, saying nobody is better than her. Kitty and Confessional laughs at the situation, but then suddenly has a realization and says that it can't possibly be her, right? Silent Crickets have Izzy making the fire while Sean stays in the trees. Trent tries saying that he needs to at least try to help out, and Sean says that he is helping, he's keeping his eyes out for zombies. Raj, Tyler, and Jerry are all setting up the tent and, ha and getting along as they talk about their experiences doing sports. Both Raj and Tyler having a great deal of respect for Jerry. B comes back with Bierdo with a whole net filled with fish, and Trent tells him good job. Back on the Amber Scorpions, Bowie actually shows up and asks Sierra if Bridget is particularly afraid of anything, and Sierra says that in Episode 7 of Total Drama Island, Bridget had a fear of being alone in the woods. Bowie thanks her and leaves with that information. The drowning mosquitoes finally realize they are missing Katie, and they are about to send a search party, but Alejandro says that it's better to just stay put and finish the challenge. Maybe she is just on another team. Julia says that if she got eaten, it wouldn't be a huge loss anyway. Back on the flaming cockroaches, Bowie tells Jose the plan. Jose asks Bridget to go out for firewood, and she agrees. They walk out pretty far, and Bridget asks if they should be going this far from camp before looking behind her and seeing nobody is there. Jose runs back to camp and says that her and Bridget got separated by a bear. Mike tries to say that they need to go find her, but Scarlet points out that that would only make them all lost, and that they should just wait till morning. Morning eventually comes, and the teams to get back to camp are Scheming Flies, Ravenous Spiders, Mediocre Mealworms, Excited Ants, Tenacious Earwigs, Silent Crickets, and Hopping Stink Bugs. The Flaming Cockroaches make it next, and they cheer for a moment before realizing Bridget still hasn't made it back, and they look fearfully as they wait for the remaining two teams to arrive, or for Bridget to make it back. Drowning Mosquitoes make it back, but they are told they are also missing a member. After a long time waiting, the Amber Scorpions emerge from the forest, and Amy says that they would have made it back sooner if Dwayne didn't have to take a bathroom break in between. Sierra tells Katie to step in last, and she obliges, making Amber Scorpions the 8th team, the Drowning Mosquitoes 9th, and finally Flaming Cockroaches are last. Bridget emerges from the forest pissed at Jose, and she says that Jose abandoned her in the forest. Jose says that that doesn't matter, she's the reason they lost today. Mike asks Jose if there really was a bear, and Jose stammers, but Bridget is furious, saying that there was no bear and she's making it up. Jose says that she's just trying to save herself since she has no sense of direction. Their argument is interrupted by Chris telling them they can continue this tonight at Elimination. At Elimination, we see Sanders voting Jose, saying that she can't trust Jose with anything, Ripper, Chet, and Lori voting Bridget, and finally Jose also voting Bridget. 
Chris welcomes the flaming cockroaches to the first campfire ceremony. The person to not receive a marshmallow will be eliminated. The first marshmallows will go to Mike, Scarlett, Sanders, Ripper, Harold, Bowie, Lori, and Chet. And the final marshmallow of the night will go to... Neither of them. It's a tie. Jose smiles and says that Bridget is going down in any tiebreaker, but that's when Bridget smiles and says maybe not today, and she uses her leader token to give one more vote to Jose. Jose yells in anguish and has to be escorted off the island in a straitjacket. Bowie waves Jose off with a smile on his face. Jose yells out and says that the whole team will burn and she'll not rest until she beats them all. Mike in Confessional says that he couldn't support Jose here, he's just surprised that Bridget stayed considering everything else. Bowie in Confessional says that Jose was a strong competitor, but she was so gullible. He hates Bridget, but he can't let an opportunity like this pass him by. Now he can take Mike for himself. The final votes are as follows. Bridget voted Jose for ditching her in the woods. Mike voted Jose to liking Bridget more. Scarlett voted Bridget to try and be in good standings with Jose. Sanders voted Jose due to not liking her. Ripper voted Bridget due to her losing the challenge for them. Harold voted Jose due to not liking her. Bowie voted Jose to backstab her. Lori voted Bridget due to her losing the challenge for them. Jose voted Bridget to complete her plan. And Chat voted Bridget due to her losing the challenge. And that's episode 5. What did you think? Question of the week. Which of the five eliminations so far have hit you the hardest? I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. I'll see you all in the next episode of Total Drama, the top 100.